All right, greetings everyone, welcome back. So I was right, um, Blade should be around here somewhere in Bayport. We'll have a look for him. Um, these are the guards, they have nothing to say, apart from showing papers. No key or pick that fits. Huh, interesting. So what are we going to do today? Um, well, I want to have a look for Blade to start with. I would be interested in going to uh, what's this place. Maybe go try and go to Nearwood because I think going back to the Orc Lair is a bit uh, a bit dull. Maybe Nearwood has a trainer which we already learned, but I had a look in the Book of Hints and it's a trainer for um, archery, which is good for Bridget. What do we have here? You seem to be some sort of a th character on a throne, but let's have a talk to this. Lady? A well-dressed man. Nope, it's a man. What is your name, well-dressed man? My name is Fulon Karusk. Cogitant of the Lord of the South. Alright. Well, you already kind of told me. I am here to ascertain the situation with shipping and report back to Lord Rockfar. What about the shipping? Ships from beyond the Isles of Windmar have not made port here in a long time. Yeah, so we, that's the place where we are. We are on the Isles of Windmar. Port. It's very strange. Some suspect the pirates in the Sidarian Sea. Others suspect thieves, the Thieves Guild. What about the pirates? I do not think the pirates are behind it, as we have seen ships from Northheld Castle. Those ships would have passed through the pirates' infested waters of the Sidarian Sea. So what about the thieves then? The Thieves Guild depends on regular ship traffic to run their smuggling operation on the Bayport docks. I suspect the cause is something else. Must be the cultists then. I do not know, but somebody should sail beyond the Isles of Windmore and investigate. From Bayport, sailing either east or west will eventually take you beyond the Isles. Well, that makes sense. Bye. Goodbye. So yeah, we, we can buy a boat at some point, but I guess that... This is a jester, isn't it? Through a swirl of blades, you see a... Man wearing silver bracelets. All right. I am known as Quicksilver. Quicksilver's left hand twirls his blade in a blinding flash. I am the Margrave's personal bodyguard. What about your left hand? I assure you, I am not left-handed. Are you right-handed then? I don't know anything about that, no. Okay, so you're not left-handed, but you don't know about being right-handed either. You must be ambidextrous. Bye. Goodbye. Let's have a word with the Lord. You see a short man wearing silver buckle shoes. What is your name, sir? I am Margrave Rowan of Bayport and surrounding lands. What is your job? As the Margrave of Bayport, I ensure the town prospers and safe. Is prosperous and safe. There we go. Pros, that should be enough. Our ships trade goods across Valley, even as far as Dragonsmere and Helm's Reach. What about the safety? Our town is the most safe in all of Valley. Really? You seem to have a thieves guild, so I don't know. You seem to have maybe some problem with pirates and cults but bye goodbye no well, maybe they they've come to an understanding with the thieves we go up phoenix a life we we've had that one before no in books Nope. Nope. 
fireplace, yeah. Anything in here? Nothing. 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 I I have a suspicion that um, um, dresses will only have something in it if we are uh, kind of pointed towards it. But so far, all the dresses apart from the first one that has the captain lo captain's log in it have been uh, have yielded nothing. Who are you? You see a woman with a large stack of books. What is your name? My name is Margaret. Welcome to the library. Should I... Maybe I should keep my voice down. Let's see what happens if we whisper. Library, you say? Got a bit of a cold, have you? Hmm. Library? We have tomes on many subjects. The history of Winmar, archery, philosophy, magic, gestures, kobold, war songs, and name it, we have it. All right, what about history? Ah, a scholar. Have you read the two volumes of Theobald the Courageous? No, what about Theo? Signed by the author, no less. And so handsome. <laughs> I mean, the cover is handsome. <laughs> bye bye. Be sure to sign up for our summer reading program. Oh, who try and stop me? Cobalt War Songs. Well, she wasn't uh, avoiding gestures. We have that one. No interesting books. No interesting books. You get a library, but no interesting books. I was a teen at... I think we've had that one before as well. Travel of my life. Yeah, we've had that one. If you could step outside of that... Because I think... So what about this one, actually? No, it's, so the only one I've not looked at is the one in the corner there. But with it in the way, I don't think I can. Let's have a look at the uh, Cobalt War Songs. Uh, we should probably sleep in an inn. Gonna get our um, magic points back. Four. So we have 60 torches, 71 lockpicks. Eh, that's fine. Nobility Scrolls, The Plains, Liches, Phoenix, Wrath of Authority, Coin of the Realm. I was actually wondering about that, so we still only have one Coin of the Realm, so it's not like every character has a Coin of the Realm. Captain's Law, Cobalt War Songs. Looks like somebody brought this book into the bath with them. Yeesh. Avoiding Gesture, I was a teen at, and we've written, we've read this one, right? Complete not a trash, yeah. Tremel. Strange cliff blast your mind and leave you feeling weak. Yeah. I mentioned that before. Seems kind of uh Lovecraftian. No way out? At the top? No. Ooh. Alright. No, come on. No interesting books. Okay, now we might be stuck here. Oh, there we go. So we did not find the books she was talking about. No, uh, no books by Theobald. Which I saw. Hello. Um, talk. You see a well-dressed young boy. What is your name, well-dressed boy? My name is Gord. What is your job? Do you have a job? I like turtles. Turtles? Well, I'm the page. Page to Margrave Rowan, but I also like turtles. Margrave. He's a very nice man, and I'm an orphan. I used to live on the streets, and he took me in. Well, that's very kind. Bye. Goodbye. Is that a reference to that, uh, that internet uh, video? The little boy going uh, Seems like he doesn't really know what to say, so he just says, I like turtles. It's 
It's kind of it's kind of just how it is, right? In RPGs, you just go in and look at everything, which is um, sometimes kind of weird. I'm just like, well, I'm just tra tra traipsing in bedrooms and having a look at. Uh, oh, you seem someone important. Let's have a chat. You see a tall man wearing a cloak bearing the mark of the town guard. My name is Captain Axel. What is your job? I am the captain of the guards in Bayport. I am charged with maintaining order and protecting the docks. What about the docks? The Bayport docks are critical to the economy of this region. We trade goods with towns and castles and all over the valley. What about crits? But the Thieves Guild has a tight grip on docks activity in order to run their smuggling operations. What about the thieves? Their hideout is in the Red Torch district. I do what I can, but the sad fact is many people in this town are on their payroll. Oh, I see. I see your writ from Queen Isa. Clearly you can be trusted. I could really use your help. What about your help? The docks are very dangerous at night. Please do, please go down there and see if you can clear out the rogues. Wait for them to attack you. Right. If you attack first, some of the corrupt guards may come to their defense. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. Well, I guess we uh, we have a quest now. Let's have a look up here. people write diaries or anything? Any good books? The Wall Octopus. <laughs> Nothing. This is where the guards sleep, maybe? Guard. Oh, I guess, um, I guess he might be sleeping. Zzz. This must be, um, the night watch. Let's have a save. Did it show up in our quest log? Let's have a look. Uh, Noxavia, I want you to seek the cult's hidden temples, try to find out. Uh, yeah, there we have it. Clean up Bayport docks for Captain Axel. Yep. Deal with your threat. Go to Nearwood for help. Let's see if we can find Blade. So these are just guards. And don't, I don't suppose they have much to say. Uh, I think this is an outhouse. Yeah. So I was kind of thinking about how it would really make more sense if you were a uh, made yourself a uh, wizard character. Because you are, well, that's kind of the thing. Are you or are you not part of the Order of Nox? The Order of Nox is like an. Uh, an at this, at this point, an ancient order that kind of discovered magic, and later on, magic. Um, well, I won't go into all of it, but um, you see a young boy, you see a young child who looks very sad. But yeah, so it seems like the Order of Nox would 
consists mainly of magic users. So I was kind of thinking, how do we fit in? But Manuel says we trained under the Order of Nox. So maybe they just, um, since we are kind of sh sh um, send on a quest to find out what all this cult uh, business is about, kind of seek, seek a, uh, a source of it. Um, maybe we were just, you know, uh, they just found that we are um, loyal to the monarchy. So that's why they kind of trust us and send us out. We, they don't necessarily ha had to have been training us to be uh, be a mage or anything. Uh, wizard. Anyway, what is your name, sad child? My name is Finn. What is your job, Finn? Please help, sir. My father spends all his time playing cards in the pub. The big man in there keeps pushing him and everyone else around. Please, sir, will you please tell him to stop? Yes. Thank you, thank you. Goodbye. We are adventurers that like to help where we can. Hello. Welcome to the ugly minotaur. No relation, I presume? Do you want a drink, friend? Sure. Uh, mug of ale. There you go, enjoy your mug. Um, what is your name? My name is Ciara. What is your job? Well, obviously. I'm a mixer of drinks, a pourer of ale, and a spinner of yarns. What about your yarns? I hear quite a few yarns spun by patrons too. If you are looking for information, just ask and drop a few coin, of course. What do you hear? For your convenience, I serve a menu of yarns. Would you like yarn one, two, three, or four? Or would you prefer a joke? Well, let's, let's close with a joke. First one. You are thirsty by drink. If you if you thirst for information, buy even more drinks. Um buy? What would you like? Mug of ale. Here you go, enjoy. Okay, one. Buy. One. One. What about two? Have you heard the joke about the mimic? Ask your class. Three. If you think about it, you're half centaur and half minotaur. <laughs> yeah. Four. An adventure came in here and started singing. I told them you're bored. These are all jokes. What about the joke? Would you like to joke five, six, seven, or eight? <laughs> a lot of jokes, don't you? Five? Now I understand why your armor is still so shiny. Six? This goblin said to the kobold, I have no idea. As the prisoner said to the warden, Pardon? <laughs> Nine? Haven't anything about nine, maybe. Flatulent fighter. Eight. As the mace said to the sword, I'll be blunt. No? Alright. Keep the helmet side up. Alright, let's see about this. Uh, let's quiz these gentlemen. You see a burly bearded man intimidating the other card players at the table what the hell is this you all can go play cards with my brother's kid if you keep that up what is your name? none of your business scram none of your business scram should i yell name why don't you get lost why don't you get lost Um, Finn, why don't you get lost? 
get out of here. Let's see if we can we can speak to the file. Another hand lost. This game is rigged. Oh, that's the only thing you say. Talk. Maybe we can accuse him of cheating. Buzz off. My log is down today. Maybe. What if we talk to you? See a young man who seems depressed. My name is Mato. What is your job, Mato? I used to manage the storeroom at the Bayport Eatery. Used to? I lost my job. Shop owner says she only hires loyalists now. No reformers welcome. She thinks the reformers are in leagues with the cult. Hmm. Loyal? A customer came in talking about how high Queen Isa's taxes are and I agreed with him. What about this customer? You threw him out and threw me out too. I really don't even understand what it's what it's all about. I just want a job. Uh, what was the other thing you said? I used to be um, reformer or cult. I don't know. The barkeep. What about reform? Hmm. Job. I used to be. Yeah, you used to, but. Uh, loyalist, he thinks cult. All right, cult. I don't know much about cult, but the barkeep always is always up on the latest rumors. Bye, goodbye. Like, we might ask this one about the cult. Let's see what she has to say. Um, let's have a drink first. Loosen her up a little. And um, cult. I know something about that. 5G might refresh my memory. Alright. We haven't seen much of them near Bayport. I've heard rumors of activity near Everton, though. Check with Irene in the pub. Yeah, we just came from there, honestly. So that was uh, 5G well spent. Let's see. Can we accuse you of being a cheer? What the hell is this? Y'all can go play with my brother. Yeah. Cheater. Why don't you get lost? Fight me. Um talk. Why don't you get lost? Let's get out of here. Maybe we should talk to the boy again. Father spends all his time playing cards in the pub there. The big man in there keeps pushing him and everyone else around. Please, sir, will you please tell him to stop? Okay. Bye. Let's see what happens if we tell him to stop. then ah um well to care of him Seems a bit harsh. Okay. Let's see if we... Uh... Thank you so much for your help. <laughs> Alright. And that is that. I guess. You turn the door knob, but it's locked. A sign says Lord Carrington's private privy. 
Any key. He owns this pub and has the only key. Okay. Maybe he's part of the... Uh, part of the Thieves Guild, maybe? Any keys? The planters? No. really planning on it but I actually since I'm recording this through um, with OBS how that works I could actually just open up um, like the PDF without it uh, ruining the, the recording or whatever so if it if it were needed I could just check um, the manual or whatever the hit the book of hints Red Torch District yeah, I, I, I still think um, our friend Blade should be around here somewhere. What's this? Welcome to the Red Torch Inn. Yeah, we should actually. Okay, another time then. We should we should go to the inn, but let's let's see if we can find uh, Blade first. Time is it? Okay, it's the afternoon. Maybe he only shows up so up, up at certain times of day. I don't know. That might be it actually. There he is. So yeah, I think I, I think I went here last episode. Um, you see a slim figure darting between the shadows. You realize that you can only see him because he wants you to. I am known as Blade. That's your job. I'm keeping an eye on the Thieves Guild. This is their hideout. I usually only operate at night. They usually only operate. Operate? Oh. Upper A? Opera. Opera should be enough. But operate. I long, I long for the people of Bayport to be free of their oppression. But I would need to join with other powerful adventurers. To have any hope of defeating them. They are protected by dark magic. Spells seem to have no effect on the senior members. Okay. What about you join us? Whoop. Let's go. The f fighting in the guild house will be tough. We should hide and rest at every opportunity. Here we have it. Um, so I think N, no, hmm, or maybe, wasn't N like, sweat, ah, so I want to swap blade with, well, Bridget first, and then Bridget with Nox Atros. Um, there we go. For update, what do you got? You are. Oh, uh, no, wait, that's me. Or the uh, the main character. So, dark elf level two. Copper daggers. What are you wearing? All right, leather. Uh, padded ropes. Yeah, you, you. 
Okay, I would have a, I would have a leather chess piece for you, but you're overburdened. I should probably buy. Um, I might actually buy you better, uh, better daggers. Too late in the day now. Yeah, it seems to be loading or something at that point. Kind of hard. Uh, yeah, I should I should look at this place in uh, in a more uh, explicit manner, but. No, yeah, I think. Right, okay, he's still there. Um, let me have a look. So he had. Blade has copper daggers, right? Yeah, foe. Weight 1, dex 20. Max damage 30. But actually, we could buy better daggers for him, but he might not be able to use them yet, but let's have a look. So you have Copper Turk, which are worse, obviously. Copper daggers, alright. Better glove, leather boots, better black, uh, bronze Dirk. Dex 26. Bronze daggers, 32. Interesting. So I, I'd probably go with Dirks first. Because I, I kind of want to give... I kind of want to give him 6 dex and 6 uh, strength then. Because I want to be able to uh, give him some extra armor. Yeah, let's buy two of these for next level, and then the level after that, he can get bronze daggers or whatever. Maybe we'll go full dex after that level. Um, let's buy two of these. We have enough. We have enough money. Um, let's see. Constance could could wear extra uh, an extra three points of armor. So what about shields? But maybe I should just hold off. Uh, okay, she, right now she has a buckler, which is three and 17. Seven, no, it's too much. No, 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 no. Yeah, we'll wait, we'll wait. I'll talk to these uh, at some other time. I wanna I wanna head out, I wanna explore a bit. Yeah again. Alright, let's speak with you at least. You see a cheerful woman waving at you. Why are you waving at me? What is your name? My name is Silen. What is your job? I'm the town crier. Bayport is uh, a large town organized into four sections. Sections are Margrave's Quarter, Merchant's Quarter, Docks, Red Torch. Okay, so this is the Margrave because we visited him. The town and surrounding lands are run by the Margrave Rowan. Uh, his house is, the Mar is in the Margrave's Quarter, where we are now. Uh, what about the Red? The Red Torch district is west of here. Okay, she doesn't add much about the Thieves Guild there. What about the dock? The docks and warehouses are in the northwest part of town. Be careful, the docks are dangerous at night. Guard Captain Axel in the Margrave's house knows more about the situation down there. Right. What about the merchants? The merchants' quarter is north of here. Right. Well, I kind of got the gist of it already just by walking around. But should I have a word with you then? Then we'll leave town afterwards. Very alive, Clive says. Bingin, you're dead. Very 
be a live Clive. Exit area? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Actually, it's fine. We could camp out here, can't we? Yep. Body spends some time eating, drinking, resting. The body is here. All right. And now it's night time. But we'll wait a bit. Let's wait uh, four hours. Body meditates. And sharpens weapons. Yeah, probably. You should sharpen your weapons. Okay, we can get into a fight. Up, goblin. Low, no damage, constants, attack, lead, stand over there, missed. Nice. Oh, does Blade get two hits? He might. Um, no. Wait, no. There we go. Light mace, sure, take it. Forty XP and some food. Guess we're eating wolf. Or maybe the hobgoblins just had some food on them. Let's see, we gotta go to the... Oh, what's this? Cave? What kind of cave? Ruination. I don't know. Might not be good. Depths of Facus? Facius? These spiders are tough or not. Glancing blow, missed. Oh, it might just be luck, missed. Why don't you cast a uh, flaming something? Oh, that hurts them. XP. Oh, we should be able to take it. Ah. All right. We're going to eat spiders. Uh, who will cast a spell? Sure. Apply some first aid on yourself. Toadstool.
Who will pick the lock? Uh, Richard still has the highest dex, although I don't know if dex actually matters because lock picking is a skill you can learn. Okay, Brigandine gloves found. So that's not too bad. What's this? Spiderweb. Um, let's let's make a save. Just maybe we should just leave. More rocks. They're just regular old orc cards, nothing special it seems. I'm wondering why we're having such a hard time killing them. Do you have enough? No. I'd be too low. Well, you don't need trust. Okay, one less. Just one. Yeah. 
Hide in camp. Body is healed. Uh, it's still afternoon. We're all right. How are we doing actually? Yeah, we're doing okay. So yeah, camping doesn't actually give you a hundred percent. Let's see if we can get anywhere. I seem to recall, but it might, I might have found it by dumb luck. Whoa. That's a centaur, right? Okay. Tax hit. Why don't you hear yourself, Nox? Nice. Yeah, got some XP for it. That's not too bad. Here we go. Shrine. I seem to recall this kind of a. Uh... Well, I, I wouldn't know if it if it's actually a hidden area, but it has some peculiar characters in it. There is something very familiar about this place. What did that do? Did it heal us up all the way? No. I think it is, uh, I think I know who this is. You see a tall and stately man wearing flowing robes encrusted with jewels. He holds a scepter in the manner of a great king. He smiles warmly. It has been a long time since we last met Avatar. I hope Dao has been virtuous in this realm. What is your name? Dost thou not recognize me, Avatar? I am thy old friend, Lord British. That's your job. I sense the disturb disturbance in the met metaverse, which could bring about a great calamity to all worlds. I traveled here to Vali to offer my help. While I cannot intervene in the affairs of the, thy world directly, I can offer thee guidance on thy quests. Oh, and I also wanted to tell thee there are some other old friends who would be thrilled to see thee. Offer? I can give thee advice on what to do next in thy quest. Thou wilt not lose an eights for requesting advice, but ye may lose the satisfaction of figuring everything out thyself. Um, this was something that was mentioned in the um, um, the developers of the game. One of the developers did a uh, interview with the Lost Sectors, 
kind of mentioned that um, Lord British can help you with the um, with the expansion as well because it, 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 it likely has some very tough puzzles in it so uh, with that Lord British can help um, but for now we don't need help so what about these uh, friends uh, to visit them enter the portal to the north of the Ankh circle all right bye farewell avatar This is a portal, I think, I take it. You sally forth. You see a tall man wearing a black t-shirt. It says, Nox Archaeus Development Team. He says, welcome to the Hall of Heroes. Name. I'm Mark Lambert, the lead developer of Nox Archaeus. I'm also known as Nox Fred. So yeah, the, the, um, this is the gentleman I was just talking about. He did the interview, so he's, he's kind of the uh, the lead developer. Yes. Um, job. I hope you are enjoying the game so far. I'm here to thank you for playing Nox Archaeist and to welcome you to the Apple II reunion party. Enjoy. I'd love to know what you think of Nox Archaeist. You can reach me by email. <laughs> All right. Uh, what about the party? We're partying like it's 1989. Go through the door and join in the fun. A bunch of old friends are anxious, anxious to say hello. Goodbye. Enjoy the rest of the game. What's this? What are we looking at? Apple was jobs. Yeah. Steve Wozniak. Little uh, thing there happened. The animated statue offers no response. Press a key. Kind of hard to make out what, what it's supposed to be. Uh, the ank, the ank offers no response. Haha. <laughs> The original uh, Wolfenstein. I believe. I'm not. I'm not even sure, really. The animated statue offers no response. So yeah, this is kind of a who's who of the Apple II, but I am. Um, I'm not too familiar. I, uh, when I was little, my older brother used to have this computer that had a fighting game on it, but I don't even know what kind of system it was, but that kind of that, that fighting man down there reminds me of it. That had like a, um, a monochrome screen that was all uh, green. green, green and light green, that was basically it. See the ghost of a giant man with a happy smile. I am Silas Warner. I co-founded Muse and wrote Castle Wolfenstein. Muse Software made games like Tank War, Three Mile Island and Robot War. Our biggest hit was Castle Wolfenstein. I got the idea for the game after playing Robotron 2084. What a cliche with the robots in science fiction. Then I watched The Guns of Neveron and realized what I could do. Castle Wolfenstein came out six months later with voices. We worked with a professional recording studio. I spent hours on the microphone saying, Actum. I gave a talk about it at Kansas Fest. I gave the keynote talk at 1992 Kansas Fest. John Romero, John Carmack and others from ID Software came and showed me Wolfenstein 3D. I was so impressed. Huh. Pretty cool. 
Bye. Good luck. You see a man playing an Apple II computer like a guitar. Hi, I'm Steve Wozniak, but you can call me Woz. What do you mean Steve Jobs? He was my friend and a great designer. He helped me create Apple. I designed the Apple II so I could play games. Steve Jobs thought we should sell it. I wanted to give it away, but I'm glad we sold it so I it could reach more people like you. You made it to play games. My favorite game is Tetris. I'm amazed that at the games the people like Richard and Jordan created. I wrote the Apple II software, but I'm a hardware engineer. I also love jokes. What jokes? I love jokes and pranks. I once made a blue box for free phone calls. I called the Vatican, pretending to be Henry Kissinger, and asked for the Pope. I kept up the gag long enough that the Vatican said they were going to wake him up. <laughs> okay. Um, there was something else I could ask him. Uh, something about Apple, something about jokes, games. Games we... Uh, my favorite game is Tetris and my maze. Uh, right, hardware. What about hardware? No one had ever designed a home computer that had color, sound, and... A joystick port and could and you could write games in basic i'm really proud of the apple II. i was trying to do as much as i could with the fewest chips i hope you like the apple II as much as i do basic i hand assembled the machine code for integer basic mm -hmm. i wrote breakout in basic and gave a demo for the homebrew club it was the most satisfying day of my life. After designing hardware arcade games, I knew that being able to program them in BASIC was going to change the world. Right. Thank you for enjoying my Apple II. Van jumps up and greets you happily. What is your name? Hello, I'm Roger Wagner. What is your job? I am an educator, writer, and entrepreneur. I was also the keynote speaker at Kansas Fest. Well, writer. I wrote the assembly lines articles for Soft Talk magazine. I published the Merlin Assembler and I created Hyper Studio GS with color multimedia auth authoring for the Apple II GS. All right. Um, you know what? Let's uh, Apple II forever. Let's let's keep it at that. There are uh, we have like ten historical figures of uh, assembly lines found. Heroes Registry, Magic Reckoning. No interesting books. Well, I'll leave you. I'll leave you to your party. Yeah, like I said, it's a it's a who's who of the Apple II, and I uh, I'm not familiar enough to. Um, that's pretty much the extent of my knowledge there. I I know about um, um, uh, 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 Wozniak. That's about it, honestly. Let's make a save. Let's see if we can get to Nearwood. Guess that hurt us. Um, we should not go there. Haunted Pass. 
probably not want to go there. I don't think this is near wood. Ruin. No. Hmm. Let's heal up the blade at least. Sure. Kind of wondering if I've ever found near wood. Uh oh. Too bad, I, I take it. We could speed it up a little. and a spell. to XP, no level up yet. How how is um how is Blade doing? Oh it's yeah, still way off. Not even over halfway. Sent to us. Yeah, this is probably a case where I'm better off looking at the um probably just check the um, the guide to get an inkling of where we're going. I could... Oh, he's still behind me. Just, uh, I'll just stop the episode here, actually, and I'll I might have a look in the uh, in the book of hints as to uh, where we should be going, um, or where we can go. I, uh, maybe I should say, let's put it to uh, speed one. Yeah, the in increasing in speed is really um, again the Nox the Nox uh, Nox Companion is uh, 
is awesome, honestly. It's quite an improvement to um I get it I get that it's 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 just what the the hardware does, the Apple II, um how it how it makes the text um have that effect on it with the with the orange with the purple and the green, which makes it kind of hard to read. That is just the nature of, of the machine. So but it's really nice to have an emulator that uh, negates that effect. And also it's nice to have a, uh, an emulator that lets you um, increase the, uh, the cycles or the speed. Because, um, yeah, that's really great when you uh, have to grind or go through battles that, you, uh, that are not particularly interesting. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching and um, farewell.